Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. So I am in Boise in Julia Davis Park again and there are a large number of Turkish hazelnuts that they planted in the park. I was looking to see if any of the seeds were viable because while well, the Turkish hazelnut is not that great for eating. It's got a thick uh, shell on it. It is non-suckering and it is very uh, tolerant of pollution and drought and cold so it makes a great rootstock for other hazelnuts. So, But So far, I have not found any viable seeds. So the hazelnuts come in this very prickly cluster, and there's quite a few of them. You see, you have to dig them out. These are green, and Then they turn brown later in the year, in autumn, late summer. And they're supposed to uh, be ripe about the same time that choke cherries turn ripe. In uh, That's at least what I've read in some of the books. I've never actually tried to collect a Turkish hazelnut before, so... But you pretty much just have to dig them out. Else yeah, so that one, none of these have viable seeds. This one has a little dried up embryo there. So, but you can see why these are not very commercially viable. They have this very thick shell on them. It's difficult to uh, break. But, gone through quite a few of these now. The uh, squirrels actually bite into these. So, and I assumed that these had been pollinated where the squirrels were breaking into them. Thought the squirrels would be able to smell if there were um, nuts inside there. But apparently they are exercising their teeth instead of actually <laughs> getting nourishment. So I think I'm going to give up on these. I might crack these apart here, but I don't think I'm going to get any root stock this way. So although it does give me an idea that I might be able to uh, wild plant a couple of uh, um, other Turkish hazelnuts to uh, instead of the uh, cloned varieties, some uh, non-cloned ones, and get some different genetics in the area, and then they might uh, have some viable seed. So, I thought I was going to have a, a neat little video about how I was getting great rootstock for my hazelnuts, but instead I have a little video on the complete lack of pollinators for Turkish hazelnut, or for cross-pollination for Turkish hazelnuts in the uh, park. So, anyway, Plant Assassin here. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.